Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ in today's Jury Cat tutorial with the Rhino 3D software. I would like to show you three things. First is how to make irregular cabochon stone and how to create a puffy surface around it. I also wanted to show you how to arrange the prong set stone to fitting into this butterfly design. Are you ready? Let's get started. First of all, I have those two curves I just draw it randomly. Um, you can trace the image that you like, trace your sketch that you like. Uh, second thing we wanted to do is to define where the caption is going to be. So I'm going to simply just scale it down and making a copy by tap the all key and move this piece back something like this. So it's the same shape in different gap here. With this one, uh, because I want to make it into the cabochon, I try to avoid this kind of a caving design is because usually the cabochon won't have that part as will be hard to set. So for this one, I simply just need to draw a profile and we can make a surface out of it. However, this is in the really weird position. It's because it is not right in the center it is tilted. So the way that we are going to do is I'm going to find where the center is. That's coming into the analyze mass property. And then we have the area centroid. And then so I'll click on this one and it will come in a dot right there. And that dot is where the center is going to be. So I need to create in the profile now. So I'm going to create this profile by snapping here and try to snapping somewhere. It is 90 degree to wall to the rail that I have, which is this curve that I have. If you have this, it definitely is not 90 degree. So what I mean is roughly like here. If you're looking at the perspective and we need to kind of uh, decide how tall we want this caption to be. And this is not going to print it out. So I'm just going to uh, draw whatever visually makes sense there. So I have a curved drawing and something like this. This is how tall that center is going to be. With this one, I'm going to rebuild this guy because this curve right now is a degree one. You cannot bend it. You cannot have any curvature on it. So I want it to be a degree three. So minimum point I have is a uh, four point. So I click OK there. Now I click OK, I can kind of simply just moving this one up, moving this point from the bottom to the top, and moving this point more of like this, and moving this point more of like this. Okay, so what I'm trying to create here, it is a, a profile for my cabochon, and you can keep adjusting until you find the way that you like. For example, I can coming over here and I want just want to move it along this curve and more toward to this point. And then after that, I want to move it up like this. All right, so it will be a little bit puffier. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is this second point, you do not want to go like this. Otherwise, the cabochon on the top, it won't be flat. It will be caving right in the middle. Okay, so we can have it a little bit lower, something like this. All right, so now you have this one. Make sure they are straight on my front view so we can creating the surface like this. We are going to come into the surface tool and you got rail revolve. This is your profile. This is your rail and you're going to go from this point to this point. Then we'll be creating a beautiful caption there and that is custom to fitting into this design. That's using the cap command to close it. So then we will have this solid. All right. The second thing we wanted to do is we need to create something uh, puffy for this wing here. So I simply just going to use the ellipse and I want to snap in somewhere like here and coming over somewhere like here and coming into my top view to decide how thick I want this wing to have. 
So let's say I'm going to have something like this. So this is rail one, this is rail two, and this is cross section. So we'll get something like this. Notice that this is coming into really thin here, but really puffy there. If you want them to be the same high right here, you have a maintain high, click on it, and then they will be the same high there. So I'm going to pick up this one and simply just extrude it maybe just a little bit like this. So that way we will have this caption can sit on something. All right, so that will be our first one. The second one, what I like to do is to, again, make this one a little bit smaller and uh, by 3D scale with the gumball and hit the all key. So we'll get, we'll, we'll get the duplication and we'll get something like this. Again, I want the, uh, to making an ellipse going from here to here, coming into my top view to decide how thick you want. And then to making into the surface that's using the sweep to rail one, rail two, cross section, and we'll get another piece right there. Now after a look at it, because we need to have it connected so we can have a good casting, I'm going to move this one up so at least I can Boolean union those two together. All right, let's take a look on the stone setting. So here's the round stone. You can download it um, in the description below. I have a link there for you to sign up a newsletter and then you can download it. I need to position where the stone is going to be. I do not want them to stick it out too much and bring it somewhere there for my first one. And then I simply just going to draw a straight line somewhere about here. All right, so that straight line to making into the prong, I simply just need to pipe it. So I'm going to pipe this guy looking at the top roughly about this size. And I wanna move it out a little bit something like this. Okay, so that will be my first prong. I prefer to have the three prong on this one. So the other prong, I want it to go around here. Hit the all key to making a copy. And the third prong, I want it to go here. Hit the all key, then you get another copy. All right, so now we have that one. I'm going to creating the button to rail to holding all the prong and we can adjust it uh, even more if you want to later on but make sure that you don't want to cut into the prong i usually do about 20 to 30 percent if you if you cut in too much uh, the prong will break easy so i just need to make under bezel so i'm gonna creating something more like this so this is a tube underneath it and apparently this is way too big so I'm just gonna scale it down, bring back, scale 3D. We do not want to see any metal um, on the top view or at the front view that way you will see the stone only. Okay, uh, make sure you cover the coolant. If you don't cover the coolant then it will stick it out and may scratch the skin. All right, then double make sure it all work. And then we want to make some duplication. So that's just looking at the front view. I want to make a copy somewhere about here. And then so the prong is kind of fighting there. So now I need to move around the prong to make them look nicer. So this could be over here and we need to have another copy right there and moving this one over here. So the goal is to using the stone to fill it up the entire space, but you want to arrange the prong to make them look nicer. So we're going to have something over here, the one right in the middle, and another one right there, somewhere about there. All right, so it's kind of filled it up the whole space. And then we want to take a look on the perspective view and see if everything look all right. Okay, sometimes you can trim the bottom, make them completely flat if you want to. I usually will do that for my freelance work, just, just make it look nicer. 
But I'm going to leave that to you and save some time for the rest of the demonstration. And this one by itself hanging there, I actually want to move it out there uh, just because it will have a better casting if I have contact this metal there and also the under bezel under my stone. All right. Now everything look good. This one too moving down. Now everything look good. Uh, we're going to just mirror to the other side. So let's do this mirror in the center. All right. To connect it, we need to have a body. So let me lock everybody so we don't accidentally to click on it. And I'm going to disable my all snap and kind of a draw where my I wanted to have that head in the tail and coming something like that. And the reason I wanted to over is because I can just mirror to the other side by hit the zero and coming over, just trim the extra. So this extra there and also this extra there. All right. And then the next, we need to have a profile for this body. So that's just using the circle, click on the vertical, and don't forget to turn the all snap back. I want to snap in here and here. So if you take a look on the perspective, then we have this for the sweep two. Let's do the sweep two. Rail one, rail two, cross section. And you only have half, right? So we want to have a continual piece just in case we wanted to change it. So let me do it again. Rail one, rail two, you want to go from the point to the cross section and to the point again, like this. All right, and you also want to record a history if you want to change anything. Let's click OK. All right, what is the benefit for record history? That say this guy, I feel like it's not touching too much to the body. I actually want them to touch more. So I'm just going to 1D scale the cross section. And now, now is everything is touching, looking much better. Um, so you can keep editing until you find something that you like. All right, coming in the front view, we need to have this antenna things. So I'm going to come into the body and come over here and have this going inside of the body. And let's pipe this guy for whatever thickness that you think was surviving into the casting. All right, so something like that. If you like it and that does look good to you and you can just mirror to the other side for something like that. And that's how we built this butterfly pendant. It could be the earring, depends on the size. I hope you enjoy this video and find interest in this custom design. If you would like to see more, leave in the comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this title of the video. I'll do my best to make them. Meanwhile, if you're interested in specific about the stone setting for jewelry cat, there's a lot more things that I have covered into my stone setting course and show you all different kinds of a stone setting for design your jewelry cat. It is a crucial element to design for the production. Hope to see you in my course. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.